Uh, this third part is to explain why this algorithm is working, how it is different from other algorithms. So this algorithm, spider monkey optimization algorithm is different from other nature inspired optimization algorithm in terms of better exploration and exploitation. The algorithm better explore and ex better balance the exploration and exploitation process as compared to other nature inspired optimization algorithm. Here, why this better explorer uh, and better exploit? So the logic is here in this local leader phase is used to explore the search region because in this phase, all the members of the group update their positions with high perturbation rate. The value of PR is usually a high value, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, around 0 0.7 or 0 0.8. So there are, there are very high chances that the value is updated, that the position is updated in this local leader phase. And the better, better exploit because in this global leader phase is also there, so which promotes the exploit, exploitation because in, the, because in this phase, the better candidates will get more chance for the update because every time in the global leader phase is applied based on the probability prob i which is defined which is prob i which is proportional to the fitness of the solution fitness of the solution so if the solution is more fit it will have more chances for the update it will have more chances for the update so more exploit that particular area. If the solution is updating itself, then particular that particular area or that particular region is exploited more in the global leader phase. So global leader phase better exploit the research region, search region, and the local leader phase better explore the search space. And therefore, and in the uh, in this uh, algorithm, local leader phase and global leader phase are applied one by one. So better explore and exploit. Another thing is, uh, for example, in PSO, uh, if the solution is gate stuck to the local optima, then there is no mechanism, inbuilt mechanism in PSO to get out of that, uh, that uh, local, op local optima. But here in this spider monkey optimization algorithm, because of this local leader learning phase and the global leader learning phase, they check first of all they check whether is there any stagnation if there is an stagnation then in the decision phases they this stagnation is avoided right it's used to avoid the stagnation because if the local leader is stuck then the local leader updates its position with the help of the global leader as well as with the randomly selected member from the entire population and if the global leader is stuck if the global leader is stuck, then it will divide. It will make the fission and fusion process, fission and fusion process. So in any case, whether it is local leader or global leader, if they are stagnated, they will come out of it. So there are very few chances that this algorithm is stuck to the local optima. And therefore, whenever there is a problem with many local optima, in that case, this algorithm works better to obtain the global optima as compared to PSO or ABC or DE. Okay, so how this algorithm is different from other? Here, in other algorithms, the entire population works together throughout the iterations. But here, the initially the single group, the entire population as a single group works together to fund, to generate the new food sources and that attracted towards the best food source, thereby converging faster. So initially the the convergence rate is very fast towards the promising region of the search space. After, after that faster speed, because of this faster speed, there in many cases the population may skip the global optima because of this large step sizes. So um, may skip the global minima and get, get stuck to the local optima. So in that case, in that case, if global minima is not updating itself for a predefined number of steps, then the group is divided into two subgroups. The global leader decision phase will apply, GLD phase. Global leader decision phase will be applied. Now every new solution will be attracted towards the respective smaller groups, right? And therefore, exploration of the search space will start. 
and when the maximum number of subgroups are formed and even though the global optima is not updated then the global then again the gld phase will start and the fusion process will 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 be started and all these smaller groups will form a single group therefore in smo exploration and exploitation are better balanced while maintaining the convergence at peace that's the unique way of spider monkey optimization that it better balance the exploration and exploitation process and simultaneously it maintains the convergence speed also if you want to see uh, more on uh, spider monkey optimization if you want to find out the resources uh, of this uh, the code in matlab in python in c++ you can download from this website uh, this is the website smo.scrs.in this is the website smo.scrs.in from the from here you can download the research paper also on spider monkey optimization uh, this research this algorithm is uh, has lot of publications throughout the world people have applied this algorithm for solving various engineering optimization problems also the throughout the world people have modified the algorithm in various ways people have developed the discrete smo uh, smo for discrete optimization problems smo for multi objective optimization problems smo for binary optimization problems people have uh, have for also hybridized this algorithm with other nature inspired algorithms so in various ways people have modified this you can simply search uh, spider monkey optimization on google scholar and you can see the latest status of this algorithm